Southern towns were then. And I remember my grandmother and grandfather opposing the closing of Central High School to keep black students out. They were far integrated in the schools. It was interesting, my, my, my grandfather had a great school education. And my grandmother had graduated from high school from a tiny little school out in Bacow, Arkansas. His grandmother just valued education above all else. I mean, from the time Bill was in a high chair, she had, uh, you know, like playing cards tacked up on the drapes in the kitchen area where she fed Bill, and she would tell him what the numbers were, and she would read to him all the time so that, you know, he was able to read at a really young age, in part because his grandmother valued him so much and, and helped him so much. We were all standing there in alphabetical order, so Arkansas was near the front of the line, and I was the biggest kid there, so I made sure that I got to shake hands with him. And I remember just uh, thinking what an incredible country this was, that somebody like me came from a little town in Arkansas who, you know, had no money, no political position or anything, would be given the opportunity to meet the president. Yeah, which is this wonderful Gothic structure, and he was surrounded by all of these fellow classmates who were trying to convince him to be on the Yale Law Journal. I said, look, I'm going home to Arkansas, and I don't, I'm not going to get a big Wall Street job. I'm not going to go to clerk on the Supreme Court. I'm going home to be a country lawyer. I don't know if I want to be on the Law Journal. And he was listening politely, but he was watching me because I was watching him because I was in the law library at this long table studying. And I finally thought, this is, you know, kind of silly. And finally, she just put down the book she was reading and walked the entire length of the law library and walked up to me and she said, if you're going to keep looking at me and I'm going to keep looking back, we at least ought to know each other. I'm Hillary Rodham. I'm what's your name? <laughs> I couldn't remember my name. I mean, I thought that um, he was great looking and it was fun and he was um, just somebody who challenged and made you happy all the time. Um, yeah, I've just never met anybody like Bill. No. He squeezed his nose. He would talk in a really weird voice. Whenever I play softball, he does sometimes embarrass me by jumping up and yelling and waving his hands. And sometimes he'll come over and talk to me during the game, but that's okay. What I would like America to know about my mother and father is that they're great people and they're great parents. Um, they taught me that I had to think for myself and they taught me to treat other people how you would want to be treated and follow the golden rule. Now, do you like Huckabee or Clinton? Clinton. Of course. <laughs> <laughs>